Hello and welcome to another Spruce and Bruise unboxing. Today we're looking at the new Serastus Knight Lancer for Warhammer the Horus Heresy. So first of all, I want to say a massive thanks to Games Workshop for sending us a free uh, Serastus Knight to unbox and review on the site. Uh, what we're going to do in this video is open this up, having a look at the sprues, and then hopefully by the time the video goes out I'll have this built and painted to show you what it looks like in the flesh, and have a few size comparisons to some of the other knights in the range. So the Serastus Knight Lancer isn't a, a, a new knight by any stretch, it was previously available in resin, but now it is a full plastic kit, um, and the first of three Serastus Knight variants that are coming out over the next few months. Uh, really excited for this. I'm a big fan of the Knights and I really, really like this uh, this model of Knights. Now, obviously, the, the previous versions were resin and very poseable as well. So we'll be seeing, you know, are there any limitations to this kit? Are there any ways it can go together? Are they all going to have the same leg poses, etc.? So we'll be having a look at all that. And we'll also be having a look at how we're going to be painting this too. Yeah, by leaving the armour plate separate and the like. So yeah, let's have a look at this because it is a very, very nice knight. Uh, this really has the kind of like knightly vibe to it with the shield and the lance. Uh, it looks like we've also got moulded banners as well, which is really cool. Uh, and I do believe there's interior detail in a pilot as well. So again, as part of this, we'll be seeing if, you know, can you just pop the lid off and see that interior detail? And there's also a new uh, two transfer sheets in here as well. So again, we'll be having a look at that and seeing, you know, what's on there, what's new, and what's cool. So yeah, if you play uh, Warhammer 40k as well, you will be able to use this knight in your games of 40k too. There are rules for it. Uh, well, predominantly this is boxed as a Horus Heresy Knight. Uh, yeah, there's absolutely options for using it for 40k and I guess expanding out the different plastic knight options that are available to players. So so yeah, it's a big, big chunky box with a lot of sprues in there as well. So what we're gonna do is pop this open and have a look what is inside. So if we slide the tray out, we'll see. Absolutely jam-packed with sprues. I think there's four big sprues and a little sprue in here. Now, obviously, there are variants of Rastus Knights. They're all going to get boxed as separate um, kits, basically. And what they'll do is just swap out the, um, I guess, the Lancer sprue for the other variant in those boxes. So, let us have a look at this. Now, again, this is a brand new knight. I don't believe it shares any parts from the um, existing Games Workshop knight. So... It's really cool. It's uh, it's nice seeing the staple of knights kind of exist uh, in, increase over the uh, over the years. They started off with that original kit and they've added more frames. And now they can do the same with this. They've got the main kind of chassis and then they can add to it. Uh, and in the case of the Serastis knights, I believe they're coming out really, really quickly following this too. So, so that's really cool. So on here we've got kind of the main kind of shell of it. And then we've got some interior detail as well, some control panels and the pilot, I think, is on this sprue too. So that's really, really cool. Uh, I'm interested in seeing how, just how that goes together. We've then got this frame, which looks like to be the main body and some of the armor panels that go on that too. Now, what I'm probably going to do here is leave those um, panels on the sprue so I can airbrush them up a little bit easier and then snip the mouse and then just kind of tidy up the uh, the trim there because I think it's going to be easier to, to build the skeleton, spray all that silver and wash it down and dry brush it and then have all the armor panels separate, airbrush them up and then uh, it should give a nicer finish than trying to build the whole thing in one go and then um, slotting on the knights. Now it looks like they've got two duplicate sprues here which is an interesting way of doing it for the kind of leg uh, assembly and that means that there's options of traitor and loyalist kind of shin guards on there which is a really nice way of doing it. Yeah this like with all of the um, the heresy kits that they've put out they've been quite um, I guess clever in how they've put together the frames to kind of maximize the usage of the kit, which is a really nice way of doing it. Again, at the minute, I don't know how poseable it is. The Obviously the Imperial Knights kind of go together one way without a lot of cutting and repositioning. Uh, this one, it looks like there's quite a few different parts to them. So it could be that this is quite modular. So obviously we get those two frames that make up the, 
looks like the legs and machine guards and stuff on there and then we get a final frame in here which makes up the um, the Lancer specific parts so we've got that massive iconic energy shield uh, I can see in some people doing some really cool stuff by putting some clear plastic in there to kind of represent the energy shield and that massive uh, lance as well so, and like I say the other the other Serastus kits will probably take this frame out and then replace it with one unique two to that night as well so yeah, this is this is very very nice. I'm I'm very much looking forward to building this up. I've got plans of doing a 30k house Malinax force uh, to march alongside my traitors. So I'm absolutely going to be painting this up in in traitor colours. And I do believe there's Malinax um, transfers on the transfer sheet in the box as well. So so that's really cool. So pop that out. In the base we've got the instructions, which we'll have a look at in a little bit. And we also get those two new um, sheets. The base I think is just a standard Imperial Knight base so no surprises there but we get two transfer sheets that have got quite a lot of options on them. So we've got House Maccabus, Maccabeus with the Eye of Horus there. We've got House Vironi, House Crast, House Padrixa, Padraxia even, House Malax, which is the one I'm going to be going for. It's kind of like a, a dirty bone colour, and they've got that cool kind of scorpion motif. And then we've got House Cold Shroud as well. So that's all on the first uh, sheet. We actually get a second transfer sheet in the box as well, which has got House Divine on it, and then a load of little kind of like kill markings and emblems, quite a few blocks of script and some like chevrons and patterning and flames and stuff uh, which is really handy so you'd have to freehand them you can just put them on so it's quite a, a comprehensive uh, set of transfers that you get in here which, uh, which is nice because a lot of the house specific transfers from Forge World have been discontinued unfortunately I've been looking everywhere to try and get some Malinax ones because I want to get a Porphyria at some point in the future so what I'll probably try and do is get another one of these sheets and then I can use that then to uh, put transfers on my Porphyria and so really nice that you get a range of uh, Heresy Era uh, Knight Households on there obviously if you're a 40k player uh, it's not too difficult to get a hold of uh, transfers for, for the kind of uh, 40k era households. So yeah, it's uh, it's good that you get the option for these old ones here because they're a little bit harder to find at the minute. And then before we jump to the future and have a look at um, the completed model, just want to have a look at the instructions and see how this thing goes together because I think it's going to be a little bit more of a complex one. Obviously it's got a lot of frames, a lot of parts to it. So just wanted to see you know, how exactly this goes together and how, how poseable it's going to be. Now from initial glance, um, it looks like the legs are bent in a particular way. Now, once I've had a play with it, I'll see how poseable that is. Uh, it'd be quite nice if that is quite um, flexible. And it looks like here, there are quite a few positions that you can put the legs into maybe. Um, yeah, we'll have a look at that a little bit closer when um, when we do that. But also there's a couple of locator pegs and you can snip them off to adjust the position of the legs. So that solves one of the problems that the Plastic Imperial Knight had, where they're all kind of standing in the same position. It looks like this does support a degree of um, flexibility with how the legs go together. So, so that's a really cool thing to see. So yeah, we've got that there. We then have an option, number of options for the different leg panels. And again, it seems that it kind of advises painting those up separately before you attach them. Uh, that's definitely what I'm going to be doing because I think it's going to be easier to kind of get into the metal and stuff by doing it that way. And then you can get a nice smooth coat for the, um, you know, I'm going to be airbrushing up the panels. So obviously, you, could, you know, you don't have to use an airbrush, but it's going to be easier to, to get them without getting the paint on the metal. Now I'm torn which one to use. There is a nice kind of Eye of Horus kind of motif on one of them. Um, I'll have to see how kind of the decals kind of fit on that. Um, then we build up the main body and it looks like the interior detail in there hopefully should allow you to just kind of 
take the lid off and get in there. I think that'd be quite nice to do. Uh, then we've got the assembly for the, the, the lance, which is quite a big element of the kit. And again, the uh, the shield as well. So yeah, it's... Uh, so for the interior detail, it looks like we build that up, plug it into the bottom of the carapace, um, but then don't glue the hatch onto it. So that way you can take the hatch off and see inside it, which is a quite nice way of doing it. And then you can attach the, um, the, the carapace to the body then as well. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to putting this together. Uh, it looks quite a slick build. Uh, again, you've got quite a few different options as well for the um, the banners too. So if you've got multiple different knights within your army, they will look different, which is really, really nice to see. So, so yes, what we're going to do now is jump ahead to the future where I've got this built and painted. And then I'll chat a little bit more about how I kind of put it together and the process of painting this up. So see you in a minute. And here is a look at the completed Knight Lancer. And I've got to say this was an absolute joy to put together and paint. Uh, it is ridiculously articulated. So the Lance itself can be built kind of extended or retracted and has got loads of degrees of motion to it, as has the shield. Um, like with most knights as well, both those weapon arms are actually interchangeable as well. So if you wanted to have the lance on the right hand side, uh, you can totally do that too, which is really cool. Uh, talked about in the unboxing the, the leg positioning, that's really, really cool. So I've used this with one of the stock two options, but straight out of the box, you can just swap the position of the two legs. So you've got one striding with the left leg and one striding with the right leg if you've got multiple ones. And obviously, um, there's going to be a couple more knights following this one, the uh, the archer on and the castigator. So between your whole kind of like maniple of knights, you'll be able to uh, have quite a few different poses to them, which is really, really cool. Um, yeah, I was, I was surprised quite how much detail there is. Uh, also, there is a fully detailed interior too, which is cool. I'm going to stick in some pictures now of the uh, the inner detail of the knight. You can't really see it once you've built it together, but the top uh, hatch on the carapace um, opens up and you can see the detail inside so I'll splice in some images here of it of it painted uh, and also um, I'll stick up some images too of this compared to a couple of other models so compared to Bellacore and a normal Imperial Knight just to give you the scale of it, it is quite a big model um, so it comes with some Malinax transfer so I decided to paint this up as House Malinax because I really like the kind of like dirty bone colour of it so I thought that'd be really fun to uh, to use for the scheme of this one. I want to follow it up with the other variations when they come out. Um, essentially, for each knight in Horus Heresy, you take this, you add two armagers, and that's like I guess a unit of models. And then basically three three big knights and six little knights, and then fill in some gaps with some upgrades or another armager, and you've pretty much got a three thousand point. Um, Knight Household's army for, for Horus Heresy. So obviously the cool thing with that is that you can pick up each of these knights as they come out and add the armages and have a little force ready to go, which is which is really, really fun. But yeah, really enjoy painting this. It's um it was quite a straightforward one to do as well. Built up the skeleton, sprayed that black, then silver, um, and then airbrushed it with a mix of 50-50 non oil seraph and sepia. To kind of give it that kind of aged kind of bronzed effect that I've given it, and then the carapace plates I painted on the on the sprue. And for knights, I always think that's the easiest thing to do. You're going to have a little bit of touching up to do afterwards, you know, where you're cutting off the connection points and repainting them. But it does make it a lot easier to speed paint something of this size. Uh, and again, just using the airbrush, kind of do the coloration of those panels, go in, do the trim and then stick all of that to the model and then I gave the whole thing a once over with that 50-50 uh, wash mix as well. It just darkened down the metal and kind of gave it that nice kind of aged worn look. Um, and yeah, stuck on the transfer. So the, the, the keen eyes will notice that I've put the Malinax Scorpion upside down but I, I'm sure that's just a quirk of this particular lance. 
Um, I can come up with some more relevant way of explaining that off, but yeah, really happy with how this thing turned out, and it is a really impressive model. I, uh, I've been really keen to get one of the resin ones of these for a long time, so the fact that it's in plastic now makes that so much easier. And yeah, I am really, really excited for you know, being able to build the other variations of this night too. So yeah, so if you've enjoyed this, um, we do lots of Horus Heresy content on the channel. Uh, give us a, give the video a like and give us a follow. Uh, we've also got the website, spruceandbrews.com as well, where we have all our stuff. Uh, we have got another unboxing up today. It's the Skaven Warband for Warhammer Underworld. The name escapes me at this point in time, but that is up on YouTube and on the site as well. And over on spruceandbrews.com, we have got a full kind of right up for this kit with loads of images of the sprues some better pictures of the night itself as well so you can get a kind of idea of how big it is and, and what you get in the kit so yeah if you have enjoyed us give us a follow we do lots of things like this lots of unboxings where uh, battle reports are coming back our uh, stream is coming back what we're going to be doing is every other monday streaming 8 p.m till 10 p.m uk time here on youtube and over on twitch as well so if you want to see us just talk some hobby while doing some painting you can check that out too uh, if you would like to support the site as well we've got an affiliate link to element games anything that you buy from there we get a bit of a kickback which basically helps with the running costs of the site uh, and again massive thanks to games Watch for sending us a free copy of this night over as well uh, hopefully we'll be looking at the other variations not too far off in the future as well but yeah until next time have a great weekend and see you soon